Need to know how to do GED math in just defeat conversions? Well, that's what I'm going to teach you in this video. Hi, this is Parker from Test Prep Champions, teaching you how to pass the GED fast. You can get started by clicking subscribe down below. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert from inches to feet and then from feet back to inches. I'm going to show you the fast way first and then I'm going to explain why that fast way makes sense. So let's get started. To convert inches to feet, you just take the number in inches and you divide it by 12. So for example, let's say that you're given 324 inches. So how would we convert that to feet? So we have 324 inches, we want to convert it to feet. All we have to do is divide by 12. So we do 324 divided by 12, and if you enter that into your calculator, you'll get 27 feet. So the answer here is 27 feet. So to go from feet to inches, all you have to do is multiply by 12. So let's look at an example of this. So let's say that you're given 24 feet and you want to go to inches. So all you have to do is just multiply by 12. So 24 times 12, if we put that in the calculator, what do we get? Well, we'll get 288 inches. So that's how you do it fast. But why does that make sense? Let me break it down for you by showing you a clip from one of my recent GED Help live streams. 12 inches. And you guys might have probably heard this before, but I'm just starting at, at the basics here. So 12 inches is equal to one foot. Okay. And you guys, I'm sure most of you, if not everybody has heard this before, but this is just basics here. So we've got 12 inches is equal to one foot. So that's the basic, that's the basic thing that we need to know here. So let's say that we want to go from feet into inches. So let me just make up a question here and I'm probably going to have to use the calculator because I can't do this kind of math off the top of my head, but let's say that you've got 120 feet and we want to convert 120 feet into inches. How would we do this? And this question is really important because this type of thing does come up on the GED math a lot, okay? You also might get conversion questions on science. Definitely on the science, especially with temperature, going from Fahrenheit temperature to Celsius temperature on science, you'll need to know how to convert there too. Um, so we've got 120 feet and we want to go into inches here. So what we do is this is our guide here, right? So this is our conversion factor. Okay, what I call a conversion factor. Some teachers call it something different, but it's a conversion factor. That's what I call it. So we've got 120 feet. We want to go to inches. So we want to multiply here. And so we want to set up a fraction here. And we want to set it up so that the feet are down here in the denominator. The denominator, again, is the bottom number in the fraction. The numerator is the top number. So we want to set up our conversion factor so that we've got feet down here. Okay, and inches up here. Okay, so does anybody know why, why does that be? Why, do I, why would that be? Why do I want to set this up so that I've got it feet down here in the denominator and inches up here in the numerator? Does anybody know why that would be? So the reason is because they're going to cancel out, right? So we're dividing. So when we divide feet by feet, they're just going to cancel out. And so then I do the math here, and all I have left are inches here. So my answer is going to be in inches. So what I would do then is I would do 120 times 12. And so I would have to do that on my calculator here because I, we could also write it out by hand, but that's, we don't want to take forever to do that, right? So let me pull up my calculator here on my phone. So we do 120 times 12. That's 1,440 inches. Okay, so that would be the answer. And you would just, you're multiplying 120 by 12. So now... Real quickly, then we'll do life proofs question, and I'll check the chat here. So let's say we want to go back. Let's say we want to go the other way. So let's say we've got 1,440 inches, okay? So I want to convert this into feet this time. So the way that I do it is, again, you, it all goes back to knowing this conversion factor. And this, these should be given to you on the test for the most part, but this is an easy one to remember, right? 12 inches per one foot. So I want to know this, and so now I want to multiply here. So I'm going to take this conversion factor, and I'm going to turn it into a fraction. Okay, so do I want to put 12 inches down in the bottom of the fraction, or do I want to put feet down in the bottom of the fraction? Okay, well, the idea here is I want to make sure that I've got the inches down here. So I want to put 12 inches down here, okay? And so then the one foot just goes up top here, okay? And again, the reason is because we've got inches here, in inches here. So we're dividing inches by inches. They're going to cancel out. Okay. And so that's why I need to set it up that way. So then you would just do the math and I'm pulling up my phone calculator here. You've got 1,440 times one, which is going to give us the same thing divided by 12 here. So we've got one, four, four, zero, 
divided by 12, which gives us 120 feet. Okay, and so see here how the units, right, the inches cancel out, and our answer is left with feet. So we've got 120 feet.